And we have it. Tren de Aragua, the violent Venezuelan gang which took over an apartment complex in Aurora, Colorado. One resident, Cindy Romero, is describing what it was like to live there. Watch this. Every day when we come home, we have to do this. Every time we go outside to take out the garbage. Every time we try to go to bed at night, we have to keep it like this so nobody can kick in the door. Cindy Romero joins me now. Cindy, you were forced out of your apartment by this gang. Please start from the beginning. When did they arrive and what did they do? Take us through it, please. About a year and a half ago, it started. Um, bus loads and van loads of people would show up at the building. They started one by one taking over the apartments in our building. Um, there were five or six buildings to our complex and they had already taken over the one next to ours. Um, as you can see, they were breaking into apartments and kicking in every vacant apartment after they pushed out the legal leaseholders. I was the last leaseholder in my building. And after they had taken over the apartments on my floor, I knew that I wasn't safe. So I had to install cameras. So have you heard anything from the authorities? Yes, but I've, there's a lot of pushback and um, the command leadership in Aurora has denied it and continued to cover it up. And they deny that the gangs even exist or have taken over properties. But you're out of that apartment complex, I take it. Yes, I am. I'm now safely away. And people who stayed there, are they paying their rent to the gang? Yeah, uh, they're paying their rent to somebody, but it's not the owners. Um, the owners have sent people in to find leaseholders, and having found none, they are um, trying to, I guess, renegotiate with the current squatters to see if they can come to some kind of agreement for rent. Is that true, true of other apartment, apartment complexes near the one you vacated? Oh, yes. There are several properties. As I was looking for an apartment, um, we would actually go to those properties Friday and Saturday nights when the management would be leaving those properties. And it's the same situation. Loud music, unchecked by the police, the same kind of um, experiences as me are reported by their residents. Um, I had to move quite a distance away to keep from having to deal with it. What are the, res the other residents of Aurora? I mean, it's not that big a town. What do they think of all of this? Well, I've, I've received a lot of support from the other residents in Aurora, especially ones that have been through similar situations. I encourage everybody to record everything and get it on film as many instances as you can because they are going to deny it and then try to cover it up that it ever happened. So where are you living now, may I ask? It's about, it's about 40 minutes away from Aurora. And it's nothing like the apartment complex you left? No, no, nothing like it. Um, and although it's quiet at night now, my husband and I still can't sleep. Uh, you, did you get any money as compensation for what you went through? No, no, no compensation. I do have a nice, quiet home that isn't affected by these. Um, at this point, all I want is quiet. Understandably. Cindy, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We, we like to thank encourage viewers to know what is going on, and you told us, and we appreciate that.